welcome back to Stasis. We've got a strapped down creature here that seems to need power for some reason. I don't know if I actually want to give it power, but uh, I guess I'm going to have to. Anyway, I think we know where to get those. But... Before that, and actually while I'm saying that, I actually just thought of an idea on how to open those power cell things to actually get at the the power cells that I probably need to take and then put here. Yeah, I've got an idea. Hmm. Well, anyway, before that, let's go check out this glass wall because it's kind of glowing. And it seems suggestive. What are you doing, John? Trying to find a way through? Hmm. What if we just straight up shoot it? I don't think that'll work. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna break the glass wall, I'm pretty sure that would work. After all, you did blow up like a one foot thick metal door. Bash it with the twisted metal. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Pour milk on it. I think that will just break it. Alright, forget that. I've got an idea. God, this is really strange though, like, I don't... This is another one of those adventure game things that frustrates me. Like, I have a decent idea, like, okay, it's obvious I need three power cells, right? And I know that there's three power cells that I could interact with back here. So it's obvious that I need to get the three power cells, and I've got an idea for how to do that, and it's obvious that I'm supposed to put them here, and then that's gonna do something that will allow me to progress. But, what isn't clear is, what's my motivation for doing this? Right now, my only motivation is it's the only thing that it seems like I can do. But that's not a real motivation. Like, why is my character doing this? Is it going to release the strapped down creature and it's going to break through the glass wall and attack somebody or something? Like, what's going to happen? I, I don't have any real honest motivation to do this other than because it's an adventure game and it's the only thing I can do. Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> let's go do it. We'll do the thing. Also, for God's sake, someone turn off that sink. God, I don't want to waste any water. Come on. No, don't turn it back on. Ah, I can't turn it off. God, in today's world, you really need to be energy. Uh, you really need to be water conscious. Like, you can't just waste it like that. What a shame. Okay, my idea is perhaps I pour bone-mending glue into the hole, and then shove the twisted metal inside. Aha! Oh, that gives me an imprint. Uh, that's not exactly what I was imagining doing with it. Would it really solidify that fast and that perfectly? And it wouldn't stick to the metal? So it just gave me the imprint? I mean, it is, you know, it is meant for, like, for calcium. It's meant to, you know, stick between pieces of bone. So I guess it is possible. It's definitely plausible that it wouldn't really stick to metal. You know, just like you wouldn't use wood glue on metal. Hmm. Okay, well that goes on the end of this. And there we go. It sounds like maybe I should take this one out last. Let's leave that for now. Let's do the birthing laboratory. <sighs> also, I feel like when I take it out, it's 
going to take off the life support and everything's gonna die in here. Yeah, shit, it's gonna kill them. I mean, they're... Honestly, they're basically already dead. I hate to say it, but it's true. And their life is nothing but pain and suffering. It honestly is probably for the best that they die. But, like, just to talk about game design uh, again for a little bit, this is, like, making the problem even worse. I'm being asked to take out this power cell, which is certainly going to kill these test subjects, which is a serious thing, you know? I'm killing these people. Am I murdering them? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm putting them out of their misery, but I'm still killing them. This is a very serious emotional decision that I'm making right now. And yet my motivation for doing it is... Sorry, you gotta die, cause I need the power to put in the things cause something will happen. Like, where's my motivation? <sighs> Sorry. I just realized, I'm not going to be able to get up the lift, am I? No, no, it looks like it still has power. Okay, we might be okay. Okay, we're good. I still don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I giving power to this strapped down creature? Given the glass wall, I'm pretty sure it's gonna, like, take off and get out of its restraints and break through the glass wall, opening this up for me, but... Who's to say it won't just kill me? What does this thing need power for? What am I actually powering up? The laser? Oh, I'm powering up the surgical laser! That's for the laser! Well, that makes more sense now. Well, in that case, I could... Yeah, alright, so I'm not actually releasing it. <laughs> Good. Good one, John. Good job. Maybe you should turn it first. Nice! Nice, John. Nice. Try again. Almost there, John. Cool. Let's walk, uh, let's walk behind the laser rather than in front of it, you know, just in case. F 
smell of freshly spilled blood and guts fills the air. The creature has been cut raggedly in half. Well, at least it died pretty much instantly. You really can't get much more of an instant death than a massive death laser. Environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. Melted pieces of glass lay among the other splintered remains. Abnormal neural activity detected. Mm-hmm. Mask zone. That's not good. Sinister signs displayed along the walls. Animal testing. Gas mask zone. I'd ask because it's safe, but at this point, who even cares? Well, that's obviously locked. Viewing portals for the dispassionate scientists of Project Seed. Oh. My. God. A mass of creatures, human and hybrid, huddled together in their final goodbyes. Some fought for a way out, or held each other near as the gas pulled in. chamber was constructed with the express, express purpose of filling it with a containable noxious gas. <sighs> this was the gas chamber. Literally a gas chamber. Where they killed subjects that they didn't need anymore. It's no wonder they had problems with disposal. Look at how many fucking bodies they had. Look at how many test subjects they had. The walls have been scoured with scratches. Broken fingernails are evidence of a desperate escape attempt. The lights illuminate desiccated corpses and agony clenched fists into sharp, arc lit relief. They were kept in cages. The creature reeks, as if it has been dead for some time. Malnourished, desiccated. Is there anything for me to do in here? It's an empty cage. Nah, it doesn't matter. What do I still have? Parcel housing key, gun. You can imagine people being farmed through here like cattle. This is not a pleasant picture. I wonder if I can shoot this door or something. Or maybe I can, like, shoot through the portals to the gas pipes? Um, I really don't know why I would want to do that, though. I think that would break. It doesn't work like that. No, I don't see any reason why I'd actually want to get in here. Hmm, probably not a good idea.
Yeah, I don't think there's any point. Hmm. Well, in that case, if there seems to be nothing in here and nothing to do in there, then I need to get through here, right? How would I do that? I can't see it working like that. I must have missed something in here, right? There's got to be something in here. Just dead hybrids, dead hybrids. Sweep the screen like a broom. No. Whoa. Restaurants on levels two and distended limb drops quickly to the ground. It may look dead, but the drained thing can still move a little. Am I supposed to talk with you? Doesn't seem like I can. So it's not completely dead. Okay, well that does not help anything. I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? I can look at every single one. That doesn't help. Oh, I needed to trigger that thing by walking by it, and then it triggers a cutscene? That's what I needed to do? Okay. Now I'm under Dr. Milan's care. His caring embrace. there's gonna be an escape the room kind of thing where he's got me strapped down and he's about to cut off some limbs or something and I need to get out I know why you're here I don't know what you're talking about bullshit listen Milan Dr. Milan let's discuss this rationally enough I'll see you soon Mrs. Give my regards to you. Mr. Maracek, you sneaky bastard. Not to worry, I can speed up this little family reunion. Uh, what have you done with Rebecca? She's right here. Yeah. Is that a portal to another dimension? Rebecca! <laughs> you took away my life's work, Mr. Maracek. Now let me return the favor. Cage 7 open. <laughs> Are they letting a creature Enjoy into her place? I'm off to deal with Judas. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think. Whoa, what? Huh? What? What the fuck just happened? Huh? Why, why am I back here? Uh. I don't understand. I, all, all I did was press escape. As soon as I had control of the mouse, obviously it was a time-limited thing and he was about to kill his daughter, so I, I pressed escape to try to save the game. And... I'm all the way back here from before I put... the power things in, before I've even gotten the power things, before I've used the laser. What? When's my latest save game? It never made an auto... There's two problems here. One, it never made an autosave for any of that. And secondly, why would pressing escape take me to my... Why would it load my game just to press escape? What the fuck? 
Okay, I guess I'll be back in like 10 minutes once I've done it all again. Thanks, game. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, you can do it. You're loading off of an SSD, you can load the two megabytes of textures. I know why you're here. I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit! Listen, Milan. Doctor Milan. Let's discuss this rationally. Enough! I'll see you soon, Mercedes. Give my regards to it. Mr. Maracek, you sneaky bastard. Not to worry, I can speed up this little family reunion. Uh, what have you done with Rebecca? She's right, yeah. Okay, note to self. Rebecca. Don't press escape. Rebecca. Or the game instantly you loads your last safe for no reason. Don't press escape, don't press escape, don't press escape, don't press escape. Don't press escape. Okay, so I think they're letting a critter, one of those uh, hybrids, into her, uh, into her place. I'm off to deal with Judas. So, gotta think fast. And don't press escape! Oh fuck, you took everything, right. Uh, give me my stuff back. Shit. John, you could run. John, you wanna run? You don't feel like- you don't feel like running. Okay, cool. I mean, your daughter's only about to die or something, who cares? DNA scanner, anything with that, gas pipes, do do Oh. I can just bash it open. into the scanner. I'm living in a nightmare. I can't do this. I just can't do this. You don't have a choice. Milan is a monster. We need to find Ellen. You need to put Rebecca's blood into the scanner. Now! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> John? I understand you're emotional. Still get Ellen. You can save her. <laughs> I don't think we still can save Ellen. at recycling station 0314. I guess... I guess I can go in there to get out. Sleep now, my angel. Let's fall. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <clears throat> Yes. I found her. Your wife is in the military then. I'm 
I'm... I'm of two minds right about now. I I'm thinking a couple things. One thing is I'm really, obviously really disturbed that his daughter just got murdered right in front of him. At the same time... I can't help but feel so... frustrated that the pacing of such an important moment and the power of it is so diminished because of the ridiculous technical issues. God, what a bad time for that crap. Right before seeing his daughter murdered in front of him. There's some... Ah. <laughs> First getting stuck for a couple minutes because I didn't activate a, a secret trigger that triggered you getting gassed and Milan coming to pick you up. And then after that, having it reload my save game from about 10 minutes ago just because I pressed escape to save the game? Like, god damn! That just took away so much from the moment. I was still, my head was still wrapped up in those freaking frustrations and how much time had just been wasted and I was just annoyed with that. It took away so much from the emotional impact of that scene. This game is just shooting itself in the foot with the pacing so much. Jesus. I'm scared to press escape. Can I press escape here? Okay, apparently it's safe to press escape here. <sighs> I'm depressed because of what happened, and I'm depressed because of what happened around what happened. This game could be so much better! Just... Eh. I like this game. I like it, but it could be so much better, and I keep seeing that like every time I play it. I just think, man, this could be so much better. Man, this could be so much better. <sighs> Something I really want to mention, though, is uh, whoever did the voice acting for John really did a great job. He's he's really, really good. Everybody else is, is pretty fine, too, but he's the one that I think has had the most opportunity to show his range of emotions, and he's done a great job. He's really a good voice actor. Hmm. The bright yellow hazmat suit, pointlessly, still protects the decomposing corpse from the toxic environment. Can I take your suit? Hmm, I guess not, but there's a glove. Five Teflon fingers protrude from the impermeable glove. Okay. At least I could stick my hand into the gunk. Even if I can't stick my whole body. Who were you? Poor soul. Dwayne H. Jones. Drainage Service Technician, level 3. Mm, deleted and or damaged. So is it not complete? Oh, seems complete. Abandonment. No feeling like it. Betrayal. There's another one that cuts deep. To be betrayed and abandoned by your own family? Oh, fuck. What can I say? It's been ten years since Maggie put my name into the Progressive Assisted Selected Suicide Lottery for $10,000 cash from the government. No questions asked. They said it was a fantastic deal. All that cash, and only a super slim chance that my name would be selected. The state wins in the long run, with one less welfare case, and my family gets a cash bonus. Did I have a say in this? No. So, April 15th rolls along, and bam. Just my luck. My name is picked along with a few thousand other unlucky bastards. I did the only thing I could. The only thing I've ever really done. I ran. I joined Kane Corporation and headed as far away from my blood-sucking wife as possible. I've worked my way up the ranks here. Level 3 gets me limited seed access, which means I clean up some weird and disgusting shit, but at least nobody talks to me or asks questions, so that suits me just fine. Who cares? At least I'm alive and kicking. 
master of my own destiny. Keeping that in mind, I've been stuck in this room for a few days now, with only the dead as company. Nobody's looking for me. But at least the bodies have stopped falling into the acid vats. That green goo is my way out to a better place. A sip of that shit and I'll be assisting my own goddamn suicide. To anybody reading this, please pass this message on to my wife. Fuck you, Maggie. <laughs> Jesus, hold on, wait, let's go back up to the top. Progressive Assisted Selected Suicide Lottery. Uh... I don't quite understand what that is, but it sounds like you're gambling your own life for cash. And most people don't get their names called, but if you do get your name called, it sounds like you die. Okay. Well, I see the government of the future is running beautifully and ethically. Tough metal bars form a secure barrier to what lies beyond. A controlled stream of corrosive liquid spills from the siphon. Oh, that's acid. I, th I thought that was water. Hmm. Okay, so I need to, like, get up or something. Or maybe I need acid for the metal gratings. But there's an airlock up there. It looks like I do need to get up. And the question is, how? Over a long period, the putrid acidic fumes have melted the balustrade. This place is freaking nasty. Okay, what can I do with what I have? Uh, all right, I've lost most of my stuff. I've still got my personal data tag. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that. I haven't used it in forever. Uh, I guess hazmat on the acid. Okay, I need to watch you again. Start. No lights. Keep your head down and stay away from the walls. And listen. You'll hear him before you see him. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, I was thinking of using the hazmat glove to stick my hand into something, but it looks like I've just filled it up. Yeah, it's used on the grating. There we go. God, that stuff is nasty. Melted hazmat glove. Sweet. Damn close. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Breathe. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Shit, dear. Come in. I can hear you. I made it. I'm in a storage locker. I don't think they saw me. I'll contact you when I'm clear. I'll be waiting. Warning. The oxygen processor has experienced a critical failure. Report to the visitor center. center for immediate evacuation. The foul-smelling mountain of flesh crawls with several post-mortem insects. Oh. <laughs> Grizzly pile of meat. A.J. Schrader. A.J. Schrader? Why does that sound so familiar? Hmm, hold on. Oh, I think it's because it reminded me of uh, Hank Schrader from Breaking Bad. Radical advancements in artificial technologies have resulted in bionic arms and hands that are indistinguishable from real limbs. This prosthetic arm is made from a synthetic steel and carbon fiber composite. Hmm. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Oh god, what the fuck? 
Oh. Hmm. I still hear it. <laughs> Crawling around in the meat. <sighs> Can I put a glove on it? Cool, I wrapped it in rubber. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use it to do something with the electricity, and the rubber will be to protect me from the electricity. Remember, always put a rubber on your prosthetic arm. Safety first. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the arm. I'm in the limb regeneration lab. There are arms, legs. One step at a time. How close are you to Ellen? Uh, she's in a storage bay. Two floors up. I'm close. Uh, that door is gonna kill me if I try to go through it, right? Can I put something to st like stop it from closing? Uh, my personal data tag's not gonna work. In fact, the the door actually isn't even a hotspot. Um, hmm. okay, let's save and then try to run through it. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna get squished. Oh, he can't even go through it, can he? No, nah, apparently not. Oh, I need to put something in the cogs. Um, hmm. Well, I don't think my data tag would work there either, right? This isn't the No, I need something else. Oh! I've found my something else. The child-sized carcass appears soft and deflated. Brittle bones protrude, piercing the translucent skin at odd angles. Great, let's put that in the cogs, where it will crunch and bleed even more. Okay, John. I'm in the cargo bay. I'm close. Five, four, three, got her. What is it? Is she okay? Yes. Yes. Sorry, John. She's fine. Still in stasis. I'm going to have to find a way to move her to the hangar. <sighs> Please be careful. Keep her under. The last time I woke someone up. Hmm. <laughs> Just in stasis, huh? No, she's not in stasis. We read the report, right? About her being, uh. Well. Test subject. One of the most smart and one of the best subjects. No. No, she's not just in stasis. I think she's just telling John that so that he doesn't give up. Ugh. Let's go before it breaks. Still pretty far away. Hmm. Terminal, PDA, refrigerator, some massive thing I need to open, and a power pad. Alright, man, I thought I would finish the game in this episode too, but it looks like it's gonna go on for a little bit more. And I think I should end the episode here. Otherwise, if I keep playing, I feel like it's going to go on a lot more, and this will be like a two-hour episode. Alright, so, I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
and I'll be back soon.